Hey guys, we are live on Instagram and we are live on Facebook and I've got a guest with me today. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> this is James Peters uh, from Ice Cream Ninjas. Yes, yes. <laughs> awesome, so we're going to have a great time with you guys today. Um, yeah, so every Tuesday we're live at 3 and this is the Tuesday live session. Uh, this week we're at 2 because we're trying to avoid load shedding. Load shedding starts at 3 and then all of the towers in the area goes down. So then the mobile data starts struggling <laughs> and therefore we want to do it at 2 today. Pierre, thanks for joining in on the live. Maurice, thanks What's for joining up, in on the live How's session it? today. Uh, guys, if you have any business questions, send them through. Send them through right now on the live session and then we will answer it live. So, James. Yes. Uh, the topic that I want to discuss today is excuses in terms of making your business succeed and how you can work around it. So what I get a lot, guys, and maybe you would resonate with this, is I get a lot of guys that say, hey, uh, my business is doing bad because of the economy that's taking a dip. My business is doing bad because um, it's a seasonal trend or people don't want to buy my product right now or something like that, right? Mm. And why I've got James on the, on the live session today here is guys, James is selling ice cream. Yes. Right? But he's also selling ice cream in winter. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like selling ice to an Eskimo, hey? Exactly. And he's, actually his business are doing very well. So you can go check out Ice Cream Ninja. So what I thought to do is to talk a bit about how you can structure your business model to push you through downward trends in the market. So if you guys are keen on that, uh, stay tuned. On the live session, we have Pierre beside note, Maurice Enslin is waving. Hi, Maurice. Uh, Joden, Mandieta, SL, David. Hi, hey, SL. Good seeing you again this morning. And today we're talking about how to get your business to survive through downward trends. So, James, how do you sell ice cream in winter? <laughs> what do you do? Well, first of all, thanks for hosting me on your live session. It's good to be here. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so, yes, as Albert says, I run a company called Ice Cream Ninjas. And we pretty much specialize in changing people's lives one ice cream at a time. So... Okay, so there's already a clue, guys. Indeed. In, in their product offering. Like, what do they do? Yeah, so it's not your traditional ice cream. It is a very premium product that we do serve. And just as Albert says, like, how, how do you sell ice cream in the winter? So the main thing is not really to focus on like a product being the actual ice cream. Like a lot of people love ice cream. Like you get people who eat ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I've met a, cra a few crazy people. I like people. ice cream. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but um, the main thing that differentiates us from other ice cream companies and allows us to stay busy in these quiet seasons is our service that we provide. Not just the service, but the experience that we provide. So we don't just give you a scoop of ice cream and uh, give you send you on your way we actually prepare ice cream live on a frozen slab in front of you we chop in a bunch of different goodies like you choose whatever you want so you're like ready ninja do you have nice <laughs> knives and stuff and you have, you're dressed up as ninjas as well something right? something like that um but it really comes down to the skill and performance that we provide so at the end of the day we're not just selling a product we're selling that experience yes and we've had people who spend I'm not even lying when I say tens of thousands, almost hundreds of thousands of brands hiring us for a function who don't know what we do. Yeah. They just think these guys, okay, they do ice cream, but once we get there, I'm like, hey, so have you ever seen us before? Yes. And they're like, uh, no, someone just said we had to hire you. So through our experiences that we offer and that mm. life-changing moments that yes. we give to, the, to each client, it just goes through word of mouth and people literally just hire us. For that we're gonna talk about this now di dissect what James <laughs> just said and see how you can optimize your business to be able to sell ice cream in winter time okay or whatever you want to sell on the live session we have Pierre Besainad, Maurice Enslin, Joden, Mandieta, SL de Vet, Andre, hi Andre, Mandieta is waving hi, Maurice is saying yeah I'm a ninja, <laughs> uh, John, hi John all the way from Bloemfontein, uh, Marius, Hey guys, how's it going? Let me know if you have any business questions, send it through as a comment on the live session. We will answer it. We're talking a bit today about how to optimize your business to be able to have a, success, a successful business through downward trends. And a practical example we have today is James's company called Ice Cream Ninjas where they sell ice cream, right? But obviously ice cream is a seasonal product. You only buy ice cream when it's hot in summer, right? 
and uh, they also sell ice cream through winter. So how do you do that? And what we just heard from James is the fact that it's not actually just the ice cream that they sell. They sell uh, experience. Experience, yes. And they they dressed up the ice cream ninjas. So they prepare, they throw ice cream. What do you do? Yeah, we you do cut crazy. It. We chop it, we flip it, we flare it, just like your cocktail bartender who flips and throws his cocktails. Yes. We do that with ice cream. So, so what is he actually selling, guys? He's not just selling ice cream. He's selling an experience, he's selling a show, he's selling a performance, mm. an event. Indeed. And by doing that with his product, he's able to still continue selling that service, selling that um, event, that show, even though it's ice cream and it's in winter. For sure. And I mean, if you do that, if your product is, is the, the show, the performance, then it doesn't really matter what the sub-product is, right? You can do cocktails. Yeah, you can do anything. Uh, or, or whatever you want. Uh, Etienne, see you on the live session, Nicole. Hey, thanks for joining in. So, I mean, the, the thing is what you need to do as an entrepreneur today is take a, piece of pen, uh, take a piece of paper and a pen and write down your product. And then what you, what you do when you write down your product is you think by yourself, what is my client getting from this product? So let's say you sell a car. Right, you're a car salesman, you sell cars. What are you actually selling? Not just the cars, right? You're selling transport. Yes. Right? You're selling a method for a person to get from A to B, right? What are you actually selling when you're selling transport? You're selling movability, you know, going places, people being able to drive somewhere or end up or mm. reaching an end destination. Why are you actually selling that? You're giving them their freedom as well. You're, you're selling them their opportunity. freedom, right? Opportunity. I love it. So at the end of the day, if you're a car salesman, what are you actually selling? Freedom and opportunity. So when you approach a client and uh, when you market this product, what are you marketing? You're going to market to them that they will be able to have freedom and take a hold of their opportunities. And um, then from there, guys, if you've drilled it down to that on your piece of paper with your pen, then you can think of all other kinds of ideas that you can add on to that. So what else can you add to give people freedom and to help them uh, utilize the opportunities? And now you'll see how your business model can change and how your business model can evolve. I like it. So cool guys, do that, get a piece of paper, write it down. And guys, if you're enjoying this live session so far, send the shop, send the wave on the live session so that we know we're on the right track. Uh, Maurice is saying, what works best, word of mouth or social media? James, what's your thought on that? Yeah, word of mouth is tough. Like people like to talk about things. Um, but once again, it's also very, like if you're in that conversation, then it will come up. It's not like randomly it will just pop up. Yes. As opposed to social media, you have such a wider reach with people. So I definitely think social media is the, the place to be. Um, and especially if you're selling a unique product and you advertise it correctly and co connect with the correct audience, yeah, you do. social media is the place to be. But I mean, James, word of mouth did a lot for you hey, in your business. I mean, you've met the, like, the girl from, <laughs> what's it, Resident Evil? Yes, yes, and yes, Mila, what, um, yeah. Mila Djokovic. So she, um, yeah, we've had great success. So obviously she tells other people, but, but there's something else that you can use, Maurice, and uh, instead of word of mouth or social media, what I like to call is incentivized word of mouth, right? So what that means is on social media, you can read the book by Gary Vee called Jab, 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 Right Hook, okay? And what that talks about is incentivizing people to talk about your product. So if on social media, you give them value, right? You give them tips that they can use in their daily life. Uh, let's let's use the car salesman uh, example again. You tell them what they need to check before buying a car, what they need to do before selling a car. What happens now? This guy learned something, he got some value. What does he do now? He tells a friend. And with that, you have incentivized word of mouth. So by giving people value, 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 you can incentivize them to do word of mouth uh, for you. Uh, on the live session, we have Pierre Busaina, Maurice Ensign, Joden, Mandieta, Esal de Vet, André Erlang, uh, Maurice Ensign, John Fambouillon, uh, Marius, Nicole Clegg, Etienne, um, Tian Kutsia. Guys, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, if you want some invest investment advice, you can just follow John Fambouillon there. And if you want an architect, 
you can just follow raving mammoth there etienne hellery for architecture guys awesome guys on the live session with great businesses here um guys if you have any business questions to ask james or me uh just ask on the live session right now in the comment section hit us up, hit us up. <laughs> so monday it is asking any ideas of where i can get capital to start selling ice cream james you're up yeah okay um i think that question is just a couple of steps ahead though you need to take it back because if you want to sell ice cream like there's so many different things you need to have a product that is worthy of being sold you need to okay. build firstly get a great product then you need to get your audience and but start small honestly start in your community start in your complex your neighborhood whatever and then go from there don't worry about okay i have to have capital to buy all the stock and then sell it on definitely start small get a great product get your get your audience and then build from there i love don't it worry about capital I love it. Uh, when people always tell me, a lot of entrepreneurs, I get this almost every day. They say, oh, Bert, I have this great business idea. I just need the capital. I just need the funding. And I hate it when people say that because um, it's almost like jumping into a rugby team without ever taking a tackle, right? Let's say me, Albert van Weyck, or James, when did you last play rugby? I don't think I've ever played rugby. <laughs> I, played, I played rugby last year when it was Billy Kid Rugby. And what happens is, um, let's say me, Albert van Weyck, Billy Kid Rugby player, now get some rich uncle that can fund me, right? They can give, they can buy my talks, they can buy my supplements, they can pay for my training, they can buy my place on the team. Now I'm there, on the team, on the field, playing rugby in pro sports. I promise you guys, after the first tackle, I'm going to be carried off the field because I never <laughs> took a tackle before. I never had a lessons learned. I never got, gained that experience. So as James said, don't worry about the capital. Start small. Sell one ice cream. One. And then you'll learn so much from that client, the client's experience, what the client thought about the product, how you can better uh, you know, grow your business or where your market is really at. And that's how you learn you build your recipe and you grow from there. There's an ice cream lorry driving through here right now. <laughs> Damn son of a toaster. Uh, so, on the live session we have Andrea Lang, Tian Kutsia, thanks for joining in. Rob John, thanks for joining in. Um, Michelle, thanks for joining in. Guys, if you have any questions, send them through on the live session right now. We're having a great live session today. Yes. Like uh, we have James Peters as well from Ice Cream Ninjas and we talked a bit about how you can make your business survive through a downward trend. For example, selling ice creams in winter. And we said that you should look at your business, dissect it down to what you're actually selling your customer and then build your business model around that. And then we talked a bit about social media versus word of mouth and finally we talked about raising capital for your business. So guys, I hope this live session was very valuable for you guys. If you're just joining in right now, you can watch it from the start on my stories. And then be sure to catch the live session again next week, uh, Tuesday at 3. Uh, and so you can ask your entrepreneurial questions. I like it. Yes. That was cool. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Cool, guys. So see you again next week. Have a great hustle and have a great entrepreneurial journey. So yo, Pierre, Maurice is saying hi. Jordan, uh, Mandieta is all the bit. Andre Erlang is saying shop. Thanks, Andre. Mandieta is waving. Maurice is saying, yo, I'm a ninja. <laughs> the Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Marius Rockefeller, hey. Um, Nicole, Etienne, John is saying shop. Andre is saying shop. Tian is saying shop. Guys, see you again next week. Awesome.